Hey there everybody, it is YRB King back again. Today I got a JoJo video for you. And today's JoJo video is just the reputation of my top 10 favorite stands from the series. Now, I did not include many of the Joestar stands. There's only one exception to this. But I'll let you figure it out when we get towards the end of it. But, let's go on with the first one. Our first stand is Wonder Over You. It's supposed to be the main villain stand of Part 8, which I know a lot of people didn't like Part 8 main villain, which I understand did not seem like the main villain at all. But I ain't talking about the stand user. I'm talking about the stand and its calamity effect. If you chase him, a calamity is going to happen to you. It's a pretty OP effect. All he really has to do is turn his back towards you and walk away. And if you step forward or anything, the calamity starts happening and, well, you're kind of screwed at that point. You have to be really careful of how you deal with this stand. Alright, jumping into number 9 now. Oh man, I forgot to mention, I'll be doing this from 10 being my least favorite and 1 being my favorite. So number 9 is D4C. I just love how the fact that it's a... It could travel through dimensions, and there's multiple dimensions of JoJo out there. So there's t tons of possibilities that could happen. But there's only one D4C and ever existed. And that belongs to Funny Valentine's as its user. And it can only be its user. Which is pretty cool, I guess. But I don't really have too much to say for D4C, except for Dirty D's Dunt Dirt Cheap is its real name. And I absolutely love it. Alright, our next one, number 8, is Food Fighters. I just like the way the stand looks, and <laughs> it's all just plankton, so it's technically, like, just mutated plankton, really. I know I'm probably, someone's probably hating on that, they're like, why are you calling it mutated plankton? But it is, like, but I just love the way it looks. It's abilities, it's, yeah, sometimes. But moving on to number seven is Silver War. Or Silver War. Silver War. God, I'm saying it wrong. Now this stand here, you really don't want to mess with. If you have any regret in your heart, you just die. But if the guy feels regret for killing you or something, you come back and he dies. So it's like, kind of reminds me of Highway to Hell's stand. But it's all how you feel in that moment, I guess. And he's from part 7, Steel Ball Run. But we'll move on to the next one. Heaven's Door at number 6. Now, this stand here is just so... It, in real life, it's so OP because you could write anything into anybody and they have to perform the action. Like if he met a wealthy... If, you, if Rohan Sensei met a wealthy person and wrote in him, like, you're going to hand over trillions of dollars to me. He ha He's going to do it. So, you know, it's just like, holy crap. He would never have to worry about money or anything like that. I don't know if there's any real limit to Heaven's Door that he can write in somebody. It's just too good of a stand, honestly, for real life. Number five comes from part five, Black Savage. I just love the design of this character stand. I don't really care much for Popo, or not Popo, or God, what was his name? I don't remember. It's been a while since I read part five or watched it. But Black Savage hides in the showers, and he has a Stan Arrow. And he could be, he's a pretty strong Stan for being long distance. But, you know, those long distance Stans have simple commands. Like his is to watch over a lighter... And if someone ignites the lighter again, it's distracting with the arrow to make new stand users. But let's move on to number four, Scary Monsters. Now I know people are going to give me hate on this one, but I love it. The fact that they gave Diego Scary Monsters. It's, <laughs> let's, let's be honest here. Who has not in their young childhood dream of turning into a dinosaur? I just love that fact there. It kind of reminds me of my childhood. Yeah. All right. Moving on to number three. Killer Queen, I just love, it's a, it's a very simple design, but it catches my eyes so well, 
And I love the fact that I could turn anything to a bomb. I ain't talking about the Killer Queen from Part 8. I'm just talking about Killer Queen from Part 4. It has the ability to turn anything it touched into a bomb bully. It's limited to one thing at a time. Sheer heart attack, and then bites the dust to rewind time by an hour if someone figures out his name. He was almost unbeatable, and he got beat by a little kid, kind of, and it was funny. Next is number two, Kiss from Part 6. I know Part 6 anime is coming out, and a lot of people who just watch animes and not read the manga, you're probably going to love this and too. It's ability to put stickers on and make two different things like uh, if you put a sticker on your hand it's making another hand coming out if you make it and put a sticker on your head it's making another head come out it's I just love the way the stand looks and its user I can't wait to watch the anime I've read part six and I don't know why people give it so much hate I truly liked part six and it was a fantastic ending to Jojo I strongly believe and it opened to the new universe for part 7 and 8 and now part 9 Jojo lands. I can't wait to see how that goes. Alright before we get to number 1 I have one honorable mention here that did not make my top 10 list but I still would like to mention this. Sticky Fingers. I love he could put zippers on anything. Very very versatile Stan. I just had to mention this because it was really hard to choose my top 10 favorite stands. But are you ready for our number one stand? This is the only JoJo stand I have here. And that is soft and wet. I just love its look. I love its plunger ability. It could basically take anything. And then with it soft and wet go beyond. Pretty much the lot. It's like hey it doesn't matter if laws of physics doesn't apply to me screw you it's going right through the phone it's just one of my favorite stands and it has always been one of my favorite stands when it's first been introduced it's just so great i love how this was the main joe joe's a part eight stand and this is why it's number one on my top 10 favorite stands i hope you appreciate these are just my thoughts and my favorite stands I know you all have these different ones. If you want to comment your top 10 below, go ahead. I appreciate the feedback. And uh, I cannot wait for part 9, JoJo Lands. It will be... I can't wait to see the story. Like, the stories have always been interesting to me. But if enough likes and comments come to this video, I have another JoJo video of fan-made stands to do. Please support, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.